Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Uh, the, the last video we did on the 350Z, we talked about all the parts. This video, we're installing all the parts. But I have to go over them again because I don't know what kind of gap there is in between. This is actually filmed the same day as the outro for that other one. And if they're back to back, cool. So, starting over here, Gretty Lip, 0304 bumper, Gretty Big Brake Kit, Olin's Coilovers, Exhaust from HKS, Nismo Spats, Nismo Skirts, 0708 HR hood, so we're forward dating the hood, back dating the bumper. Juke R Recaro Sportsters, Nismo LMGT4s in 1910 and a half 15, 199 and a half 15, and the new Nismo wheel. All of that, I think I said Olin's, if I didn't, including Olin's, will be installed in this video. Get stoked, I'm about to have what I believe is the coolest looking and the most OEM plus 350Z in the game. The only thing I would have done a little differently had I planned it differently and not bought these is do the Nismo R35 brake conversion. But I think the Gretty's hit and I've got the Gretty lip so, and the HKS exhaust so it's kind of like the whole OEM plus theme is completely blown out the door. If I had thought about it, I would have done R35 brakes and the 380RS Fujitsu Boot titanium exhaust that's OEM. Anyway, let's get on with this build. Before we get into the build, I've got to do an ad here for Athletic Greens. And this is one of the more exciting ads I've gotten because I've been seeing hella people and YouTubers trying this and I've been dying to try it. So I was really excited when they reached out to me. The two biggest benefits from this are ener the energy and endurance that I get from this. And AG1 is convenient nutrition made simple for me. AG1 is something I can't skip every morning as it's made my self-care routine so much simpler. I've been using AG1 for two weeks. I've cut out coffee completely and I honestly feel great. Even though it doesn't taste the best, it's something I've been recommending to all my friends and family. They sent me this cool setup to show you guys. I guess this is how they ship it. Here is what the shaker, the scooper, which that's metal, Mike, and the canister that you store it in. So I've been using these single use packets, but I'm gonna make it out of this one just to show you the cool parts they give you. One scoop. Some water, gotta do uh, 12 ounces here. These, these pieces are actually really nice. Just like that, super simple and easy. And this is actually a super nice piece, O-ring sealed. Like you could travel with this pre-mixed and uh, bottoms up. Tap my link to get one free year supply of vitamin D3 and K2 and five packs free with your first purchase. You can't put a price on your health. Let's get back on with the video. Does that look like you'll be fun? Yeah. What do you think, right here? Okay. This is the rear, unless we have to assemble these, which we probably do with my luck. Oh yeah, full assembly required. Fun! So, these are the rears. Pretty, pretty stuff. Let's see what the fronts look like. Ugh. So one's the shocks, one's the springs, and the cups, and the buckets, and all that fun stuff. It's nice. Well, nothing to look at here, folks. Oh, yeah. Um, 
So we have to add the part I don't like. Show them a difference between tip and no tip. I honestly like the no tip, like raw color, but the holes and all that stuff I'm not into. So we gotta put the tip on. You know, just need the tip. Just gotta do it. This is fun, I'm trying to figure out where this fucking thing is. As of now, like you saw, the brakes are on. I think they look sick. The Olins are on. I think those look sick. Um, you'll notice these were used. I bought them used. I thought they would be cool for an R chassis. Um, the fronts would work. The rears needed a bunch of modification. Decided to put them on this. That's why I didn't do the R35 brakes. I think I mentioned that. Bumper is on. Hood is on. The bumper is not dialed. We're waiting for the lights because I didn't know the lights were different. I'll be honest, boys. I like this grill so much more than this grill it's really the biggest difference between the two this is actually like a gunmetal thing it looks like it's like two pieces um but we're waiting for the bumper lights they'll be here tomorrow i don't regret the gretty brakes i think they look so sick with the black but now the most important part is happening tires are going on the wheels and the wheels are going to go on we're going to get this thing on the ground button up the last couple pieces and i'll be able to see it my vision come to life. Time 
for the biggest change of all. I almost wish we could put the car on the ground and do this, just because like you're not gonna see the change and really until we pull it outside. But we did it on the other side, and we're not gonna show you that. It looks fucking sick. These are everything I hope I hope they do. That's such a big difference. You want to do the wheels with me? Okay. Steam rollers. There we go. I'm excited. Anyone else care about fitment? Yeah, some some eyes eyes modes. Modes. You see it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I dropped out of elementary school because of recess. The front looks almost a little like weak. What do you think? I think when it comes down and cameras in. It depends. Uh, this car is it e-brake on? Dude, those skirts are so good. since I installed a steering wheel in the car. Ooh, we got plastic uh, tail lights. <laughs> <laughs> how does this work? Someone really tell me how this thing works. Put it in. Looks like this junk. Isn't that supposed to like collapse? Oh, there it goes. Ah, it's just broken. Don't worry about it. Cool, 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 cool. See you later. <laughs> See ya. That's Eve's. You don't like that? No. I think it's clean. Mm, it
Sorry about the wind. It's officially winter. It's taking a turn for the worse, but oh, that wind. We've got the Z outside and it looks great. And I gotta end this video, so I'm gonna show it to you quick. Actually, I'll let Mike just take over from here with the with the glam shots. I don't even need to be outside. I don't know why I'm outside. Okay, so I'm inside. Uh, I tried to go outside and film while Mike was getting the glam shots. It's windy and you couldn't hear me on the mic, but it's also like zero degrees. Anyway, the vision I've had for a 350Z since I was young is this right here. This is what I've always wanted to do. Uh, obviously a couple things weren't available then, and, but pretty much uh, this car turned out exactly how I wanted it to. I cannot wait to daily it and drive it this, this spring. Um, this is one of the giveaway cars in the, in the lineup. So if you are stoked on this car, uh, you'll have a chance to win it. Anyway, I'm so stoked. Couple little dialing things. Gotta add some SPL camber arms and toe arms. Got to do a couple things, re-bleed the brakes. They're still a little, little soft. Um, you'll see the things we have to do. We still have to mount the seats, stuff like that. But uh, I'm so stoked for this car. So it's gonna be stored for it's at this point only like six more weeks and then we're into spring but hope you guys like this car hope you guys like this build and uh we'll see you guys next time and by the way we want to thank athletic greens again for sponsoring this video see you guys next time